is related to that. Uh, change is really the only constant thing in life. And that's said by Heraclitus, the Greek philosopher. So that makes us wonder how we can create sustainability in an ever-changing environment, most especially for HR professionals. So here to talk about how HR can be a sustainability, how CSR rather can be a sustainability strategy is the former president of First Inter-Resources Management Inc. She is also the PMAP board secretary this year, currently also the trustee in charge for the CSR committee, member of the awards committee, former vice president for Society of Fellows, former treasurer for Pima Foundation, former Vicarial Regent, Daughters of Mary Immaculate International Inc., and head of morality and media, Our Lady of Fatima, Bacood Circle, DMI. Wow, really very, very active. Let us all welcome Miss Virgie Mendoza. Miss Virgie, pleasant afternoon to you. Oh, yes. So I was just told that this is definitely, um, we're going to, we're, we're still waiting for Miss Virgie to come in. However, we will be having, there, we will be, we will need to, we will need to wait for her a little bit. Yes, this is really oh, nice. part of, you know. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. I've been watching myself on camera. You enter. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time to join this stream yard. Sorry. I've been waiting. It's okay, Miss Virgie. Oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Miss Virgie. It happens. It happens. Yes, definitely. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, so. so it's very wonderful to have you, to have you um, talk to us about, you know, the CSR committee. And, and maybe for the benefit of those who do not know yet, maybe we can start by sharing what um, what is the CSR committee and what major activities do you do? Okay, no, so maybe because since we are already lacking in time, I'll just explain that each program of CSR, as you all know, CSR stands for Corporate Social Responsibility. No, so it's an advocacy of PMAP. Now, our flagship project is what you call Teach or training educators and advocates for corporate HR. So the main objective there is uh, for the professors, the academicians, the advocates to have better knowledge of what's going on in the corporate world. Because we notice, now we're not saying that everybody is actually basing his lecture on the books. But we notice that some professors or academicians are just teaching their students based on theories and they don't have actual practice in the corporate world. So we thought of inviting seasoned practitioners who are at the same time practicing executives in different corporations. So itong teach project na ito is actually it's ongoing right now, no? We started July 11, and this is for eight half days. So there are eight modules with eight speakers. Our first one is what you call the strategic role of HR. So we had there as a speaker, see uh, Reynaldo Ryan Barion of, uh, uh, she's, he's the group HR manager of Global Officium. Second day, we had learning and development, and that was conducted by Teresita Villanueva, DPM. She's uh, actually a trustee of IIP, or Investors in People. Then the third day, we had workforce planning and employment, and there we had a tandem. So, nandun si Grace Abelia Sata together with June Abo, and they had a very great tandem. They talked about recruitment no, and employment. So as you know, Grace Sata is the president of Corporate Executive Search. Ito namang si June Abo is an HR expert sa technology. So you know what they said? AI doesn't stand anymore for artificial intelligence. 
but it is now called augmented intelligence because they say that uh, people should not be afraid. HR practitioners should not be afraid. Uh, robotics, digitalization, etc., will not replace a person. It will just help augment the efficiency of a person in terms of the regular course, no, yung mga tasks nila. But in terms of thinking and etc., tao pa rin yan. Okay, and then fourth, we had the performance management, which was also conducted by Tessie Villanueva. Fifth was rewards and recognition. I think you know him very well, and speaker namin, si Bobby Marquez, one also of the trustees, uh, AIHRM, and he's always a facilitator there. Kahit tutulog alam niya yung sinasabi niya. <laughs> Sixth day, this is a new one in teach. It's HR metrics, analytics, and benchmarking. And we had a very good resource person yesterday. She designed this and she taught the participants on the practical ways of measuring ba yung effectiveness in an HR organization. And then uh, tomorrow, we will be having the fundamentals of labor law and that will be conducted by no less than attorney Josefo Simenes. Siguro kilala niyo rin siya, di ba? Former commissioner yes. of the Department of Labor. And then last day, we will be having the employee engagement to be conducted by Oliver Chan Rekilman. I think he is the youngest. Now, I actually haven't met him yet, but he is a certified professional HR, no? And the certification is given by the uh, HR professionals in UK. So, yeah. ganun yan. So, eight half days uh, with break on Wednesdays and weekends. Now, perhaps you'll be asking, why are we doing this? Precisely because yes. this is advocacy of CSR. We want to help really the professors and the academicians to have broader knowledge about the practical aspects of HR. And uh, actually, this is started in 2018. And yeah. this is evolving, evolving, no? So we make some changes in the topics, in the speakers. And for this uh, season, we invited graduating students of HR because we thought that it would be good for them already to have the background no, and knowledge of what HR is all about. Ngayon, as far as the fees are concerned, before we were not charging anything kasi nga advocacy ito. But yeah. we thought that, uh, you know, alam nyo man ang Filipino culture, if you don't have any investment, you don't really, uh, I mean, you don't take it too seriously, di ba? Kaya sabi namin, okay, let's charge 1000 for each professor, pero for students, libre. Siyempre, wala pa trabaho mag-estudyante, di ba? And you know what? When we started, we had a regular 37 participants from the academe, and up wow. to now, all of them are still there, staying. Why? Not necessarily because of the small fee, but I'd like to believe that it's because the topics are very interesting, very mm -hmm. relevant, and the speakers are really very good. Mga seasoned talaga, seasoned practitioners. I so, agree, yeah. I agree po. So that is teach. <laughs> Any question on the teach? Malina, ba yung sinabi ko? About the yes. Teacher? Yes, definitely, Miss Verdry. I think uh, I didn't need to do a follow-up question. You really laid out everything and I think it's very clear, you know. Um, also, I, I came from, from the academe as a part-time faculty oh. and I see the value of this uh, because it's really, there's practicality that they can learn from these experts who are practicing, you know, HR from the exactly. outside. Exactly, yeah. Yes, yes, mm. yes. And, and so this is definitely a book. Go ahead, Bob. <laughs> sige lang, sige lang. Go ahead. Kasi five minutes na lang tayo eh. <laughs> yes, yes. Kasi sinabi ko um, lahat. <laughs> yes, and okay. I, I truly appreciate it. This is definitely something that we can relate to. The sustainability of um, having HR professionals, you know, the next generation, di ba? We talked about the yeah. youth earlier, uh, in the earlier segment, and and uh, we know that they're, we're going to pass the baton to them. And, and That's so, why we included yeah. the students. And JP yes. Map is very active, ah. I admire JP Map, the future leaders of P Map. 
<laughs> correct, um, correct, correct. They're really very active. The youth these days are amazing, and and you know if they can learn more from the wisdom and get the wisdom of of these HR professionals, the experts. Grabe po yung lineup that you mentioned. No? Talagang ito yung mga guru natin. Uh, these are our the really house mentors. Yan. <laughs> correct, correct, definitely. And for such a very small fee, I think this is really uh, worthwhile, you know, for, for them. So, um, Ms. Virgie, so you mentioned that this is ongoing right now. Yes. Maybe you can, you know, um, invite our audience to, to participate, invite their friends, because this is really something, I've heard a lot of good feedback about this. I, I tell you, I, learned, I heard a lot of good feedback. I heard, you know, how, how there's the connection between the students and then the participants and and uh, the the experts that we um, invite as resource speakers. So, could you please invite our audience to? Well, actually, we started already July 11, and also I'm not really sure if they can ah, still yeah, come yeah. in because this is supposed to be an eight and a half day sessions. Although oh. the topics are independent of each one, but I don't. Maybe it's up to Jay or to Aya or any of our PS. If some people would still want to join us, why not? Because especially if the topics are very interesting, like tomorrow labor, bakakos yeah. nila makapakinig about labor. Sikoro sige, just just ano signify their intention, and then we may probably do something about it just to help these people, no, enhance yeah. their knowledge and skills. Pwede ba yon? Malayata sila aya. Anyway, I think that's possible. <laughs> I think we can, and I, know, I don't know if we can, if we can do that. Post the contact details of those who want to reach out. Um, oh. Also, for those who'd like to, maybe our PMAP members who would like to contribute and and participate, can they contact you? How will they contact the the CSR committee? Well, they can just get in touch with Aya or Jay. See Jay, yung email ni Jay is j dot moreno at pmap dot org dot ph, or they can call the pmap landline. It's Eight two eight eight nine four seven eight local three zero two. Oh, maski oh, si Sarah, yeah. kahit sino sa mga PS siguro, I think they can answer naman. Yes, yes. So they can just contact our professional staff or team up to, to reach out to you. All right. Uh -oh. So, Miss Virgie, this has really been worthwhile. I know we have, you know, limited time for, for uh -oh. our segment. But I, I like it that you really presented, you know, uh, the, this program to us and, and relating it to the sustainability of Asian professionals. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for, for, you know, um, sharing with, again, medyo na po yung details na. <laughs> if, if they need uh, more information, yes. Yeah. So it's on the screen right now. There. Well, thank you very much also for inviting me here. At least we see Katak Teach. <laughs> oh, yes. The, way, yes. No, CS, the project of CSR is not only Teach, huh? that's just the right. flagship project. But we have several projects like Environment Protection. Probably by September, we'll be coming up with a certain project on how to help the environment. No, companion. But even prior to this teach, we had that for mental health, yung aming singing webinar. So we had lots of fun. We had, that, that was a, uh, how do you call that, distressing activity. So we try oh, yes. to address the needs. We try to address the needs of the different sectors of society. So hindi lang ito nakafocus sa teach. I agree, I agree. So there are a lot of activities that they can actually yes. participate in if they're interested. Yes. And this is really also building a lot of sustainability, oh. no? So again, I heard oh. about that, the 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 singing um uh, singing webinar, this? Yes. singing webinar, yes, yes. I wanted to participate in eh. <laughs> masira po yung ano nyo. <laughs> Mukhang may bosses ka noon, maganda naman ang dating ng bosses mo. Pero I would just want to, ano, no, I would like to take this opportunity really yes, ahead, to thank the members of the CSR committee. Kasi alam ninyo itong project namin dito, talagang this will not be successful without the help of everybody. You know what? Okay. Ang mismong mga CSR members, sila ang moderators, facilitator, somebody took care of the flyers, the promo, somebody took care of looking for uh, sponsors, marketing, etc. Yeah. Talagang full force coming nagtulungan. And all of them it's are, 
attending the the training ah from start up to yeah. now present sila kasi siya. let's face it even if you are already seniors we cannot say that we are an expert in all fields of hr and there are always yeah. new trends that that are coming so we have to also update ourselves so I would like to thank the CSR committee talaga. Banggiting ko na dito. Sana may nakikinig sa kanila eh. And especially the PS, sila Jay, Aya, Earl, and the Richard. They're so cooperative. Maraming salamat sa kanila. Sana natinig They're... ng mga ato, napanood dito ng mga CSR. Yes, <laughs> I don't worry po. This is recorded. I think they can replay this later on sa, sa okay. YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, I'm sure I'm sure they're very, very dedicated talaga. And, and I, I know some of the, the PS really are very, you know, um, committed to to mm -hmm. the tasks that they have. Yes, there you go. Thank you so much, Miss Virgil. This has been a very wonderful discussion with you. And I like, I like the energy, you know, because we, we're both excited. And, and this is really a wonderful uh, program. So there you go. So okay. Stay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Paul. <laughs> Bye. Thank you too. Yeah. So sustainability can really be a challenge these days, but with programs like this, like the Teach program and other CSR programs, I believe you are in the right track. 